Hey there, Meet Edgar community. We are back with another user spotlight. And today I'm really excited to introduce Joseph to you. He is a rock star social media um, advocate and is going to go through some really cool systems. So I'm gonna pass it over to Joseph to introduce himself and start talking a little bit about how Meet Edgar has helped him systemize and rock the social media world. What is up, Megan? Thank you very much for having me on your show or your podcast or whatever we're calling this. <laughs> I was, um, let me just start out by saying that uh, I'm really thankful for Meet Edgar. Um, it is really helpful for us. I am a, uh, a fitness and nutrition coach and along with my wife, Sharon, uh, by the way, I made a little presentation for you guys. And, and I, I made a presentation using photos that we uploaded, have already uploaded into Meet Edgar um, I thought that would be kind of cute to do, but uh, I'm a, a fitness and nutrition coach along with my wife and we help folks um, globally with our virtual um, fitness and nutrition coaching program, but also um, we have a brick and mortar facility and um, really we're just teachers, we're educators and part of what we do is share information and there's a concept called uh, the other 165, right? So there's 168 hours in a week. And we see our folks, let's just say on average, three hours a week, um, whether it's virtually from around the globe or it's at our premium um, uh, facility. Wh what, are, what are we, um, how are we talking to them the other 165 hours of the week? Well, Meet Edgar helps us do that. We can um, share our information and we can do it in a very efficient way. So yeah, I wanted to, if it's okay, can I, can I share a little presentation that I made? Go ahead. I am super excited to dive on in and see how this is helping, especially in the world of health coaching. You know, it's such a huge industry right now. So anything you can do to differentiate your brand and really make sure, like you said, you're connecting with people is so exciting to learn. So dive right mm -hmm. on it. Thank you very much. We've been, um, I've been coaching for, this is my coming up on my 25th year. So, uh, you know, we've been, I've been coaching a really long time. I started my career uh, at Men's Health Magazine, so at Rodale. And so I have this editorial background and this publishing background, but I'm also a strength and conditioning coach. So, you know, this is, Meet Edgar is especially the library feature, which we can kind of get into my actual account in a little bit. That's, that was something I was looking for, I was searching for, and Meet Edgar um, brought brought that to the table. So thank you guys for that. So if I can make my uh, computer work here. So this is uh, me and Sharon. Um, we were actually um, re were really, really blessed to have uh, this, what I consider a vocation to, to be able to coach. And we have a, a concept that we live by. We just say lead by example. So this is, um, this is actually uh, this past summer, on our little vacation with uh, our children, Giovanna and George. And for me, I, I try to, everything that I do, I, I just absolutely practice what I preach, so does Sharon. So the, I actually made a couple notes on this piece of junk mail that I got. I just jotted some things down I wanted to talk about. And if you look at, if you look at the way we're disseminating this information, so we're virtually helping people right? We've got this virtual uh, coaching program where we're helping people from all over the globe. And then we have this premium coaching program where we're actually helping people at a brick and mortar facility, but we're using Meet Edgar to share this information with both populations. So if you're in Okinawa, Japan, or in Italy, or you're right in, in our town where we have this facility in Allentown, Pennsylvania, USA, we're, we're still using Eat Edgar to share some of the information that other 165 hours per week when we're not actually in front of you. Um, a big question that I like to ask folks is, you know, what's, what's your why? You know, what makes you happy? By the way, this is a slide, uh, an image from um, uh, a lesson that I teach that's already uploaded into our Meet Edgar account. Repurposing um, so, content, I love it. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of kind of a cool thing. The underlying theme here is if you don't take care of yourself, you're going to have a hard time taking care of others. So everything we teach is about 
you being really optimally fit and clear in your head and just feeling happy and energetic because there's all these people that are counting on you. They're counting on me. They're counting on Sharon. They're, they're counting on you, right? You had to get up today and, and do all your things in order to, to do this, uh, you know, this video conference today and, and handle all your responsibilities. So a lot of folks are, are counting on you and, and everybody watching. There are three main categories that we're using Edgar to break down our content. And for, for me, as, a, as a, a fitness and nutrition coach, I like to break them down into uh, training, fueling, right, which is nutrition, and then recharging, which could be considered sleep and stress management. One of the things that we're constantly messaging our, our client athletes, by the way, we call everyone a client athlete. We figure even if you're not competitive, you're, you're competing in the game of life, so you're still an athlete. Focus just on the fundamentals, training, nutrition, sleep, stress management, uh, everything else will fall into place. I think people get really advanced. They want to do juice cleanses and all these quick fix things and just focus on the fundamentals. You know, drink, drinking half your body weight in ounces of water daily is, is hugely important. Another thing um, that we're constantly teaching is this concept of paralysis by analysis, Especially in the world of health and fitness, there's so much information that's available for free, by the way, that you just sometimes need to take action. I mean, this is really nothing new. The, the concept of taking action is not new, but I do find in uh, nutrition and fitness, people just get frozen by overwhelm. Um, and with that, with that uh, note, just get started. Take imperfect action. So I wanted to share just a, a couple social media uh, teachings and postings uh, in each category. So if we look at training, you're the sum of your habits. Think about it. You are the sum of your habits. Here's a, a, a little image of Sharon, my wife and, and, and partner and, and teammate and co-captain in this endeavor mm -hmm. um, training. It's something that she prioritizes and it's, it's important going to bed early. That's a habit, having a nighttime ritual where you're you know, getting away from the screen and trying to relax, kind of calm your, your sympathetic nervous system, your f fight or flight, and get into that rest and digest that uh, parasympathetic nervous system. So you are a sum of your habits. Another concept under the, the bucket or the, what, what, do you guys use buckets when you're breaking down content? We call them categories, but I know so many people refer to them as buckets, the same exact concept. And I love how these fit into that sort of mindset and like making people believe in it so much. Okay, cool. Well, we'll say categories for this, the category of training. You do have to do the work. Mm -hmm. There is a, a very common uh, saying among coaching when it comes to strength and conditioning. Some days you're going to use a spoon. You're going to use, uh, do a little work, move a little bit of dirt. And some days you're going to use this giant backhoe. You can do a lot of work, but you're always doing work. And I feel like people think, well, I didn't do that much today. It's okay. If you did a little, that's, it's still okay. Um, I, I wrote a book and the book is called The New Fountain of Youth. And people say, well, what is The New Fountain of Youth? And The New Fountain of Youth is resistance training. It's, it's lifting weights, but done in a very progressive fashion with, uh, uh, really two concepts, progression and overload. And here's Yoda saying, you know, lift, you must. <laughs> Another concept is to win your mornings. People are always like, coach Joe, you know, what's the best time to train? And my response is, which is the best practice response. The best time to train is whenever you're most consistent. Mm -hmm. I find that if you can get it over with, and, and that's how you have to look at it, get it over with as soon as possible before your day gets in the way. It's just, um, it's going to happen, right? Now we get into fueling. Uh, fueling is one of those things that it's so simple, but it gets so um, complex. And I can speak on this first person because I am in the world and in the business of uh, selling information about how you can live a great life. 
And I started my career, um, not just as a strength and conditioning coach, but in editorial, we were trying to sell books at Rodale. You know, Rodale had this big, uh, still does have a big book division. And you couldn't just say, hey, um, count your calories, because that didn't sell very well, it wasn't very sexy. But I'm breaking things down here. I'm trying to be as raw as possible. Calories do matter and they matter on the weekends. And I know that's not very sexy and that may not sell a book, but you know, these are things that we're teaching and we're leveraging Meet Edgar to get this kind of information, which is really fundamental information. If you have, if you're forgetting about calories, um, you're gonna run into trouble. Eventually you're gonna have to figure out, you know, mathematically, you gotta embrace the math. What exactly are you doing based on your goal? If you wanna be leaner, you have to have a general idea of how many calories you need. It's not the most important thing, but they do matter. Another thing that we teach, and this is uh, an image from another social media post that's already uploaded in, into Meet Edgar, is we teach something called batch preparing meals. We recommend you do this on Sundays and Wednesdays. And it could be as simple as just taking two um, baking sheets. This is looks like some chicken and some broccoli there, a little quinoa, some rice, some carrots, you know, some delicious vegetables. Just roast a whole cookie, uh, cookie sheet or uh, baking sheet with the vegetables and another baking sheet with the protein. I don't know if that's something you've ever done. Yeah, I love it. We teach that concept with social media, batching your status updates. So it's cool to see that cross right on over. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, another concept, body fat is burned in the kitchen. So alluding to the, the, the previous uh, Nate Edgar post, you just can't get away when someone shows you their six pack abdomen or how lean they are you cannot out-train a bad diet. Mm. You cannot out-train a surplus of calories. Once again, this is not really a sexy concept and it might not sell a book on some you know, specialized workout, but you could work out three, four times a day. And if you have a surplus of calories, you're still gonna have a layer of insulation between your skin and your muscle. Does that make sense? Most people watching, they don't think of body fat uh, in that way as insulation. So you either have a little insulation or a lot of insulation. And that is a function of, you know, how much energy you're putting into your system. Yeah. Man, something has so much value to offer people on social. This is great. But this is, by the way, every single one of these things is coming out for free. Like, mm -hmm. and I'm teaching a full lesson, um, which by the way, if I'm going to talk about drinking more water and being hydrated, what I usually will do is I will write an email about it that gets emailed out to you know thousands of readers. And then from there, I will actually break down the email and I might even go line by line and take a tidbit out and just make that like a quote. And then we'll ask our designers to you know make this type of slide. Yeah, Does that, that is sense? so perfect. Upcycling that content because it's so important, especially the amount of time you guys put into this that you're getting the most out of it. So that makes complete sense to make sure one piece of content can be repurposed multiple times on social media is a really, truly key concept that we teach here as well. And if, if I were to actually bring you into uh, our like asset library, our image library, we have um, this picture and this concept, drink more water with our little logo with like seven different backgrounds. Nice. <laughs> so we're just... You know, and, and the nice thing about Meet Edgar is we can kind of, um, you can speak on this better than I can. I don't know what the exact terminology is, but it will modify the post, right? Like it'll just change it up automatically. Just, just making sure that it gets to each network and amplified out. Yeah, so you can upload it there and you can send it to multiple networks, making sure again that your hard work gets sent to multiple places. So people who prefer to consume social media on their preferred platform are able to still see this and get that valuable information. Um, it is pretty cool. So when you go into Edgar and you like upload this, you can tell them to send it to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. And again, all that valuable information can hit people when they are online in their preferred network. And here's a, here's a shot of me making um, one of my famous uh, blended shakes with uh, all sorts of fun stuff. And, and regarding supplementation, really your food is your best supplement. Once yeah. again, this isn't gonna sell supplements, 
but I'm trying to be very honest and raw here to, um, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm one of the few people, uh, maybe to the detriment of sales, that's just going to flat out tell it like it is. Um, supplements have a place if you don't feel like eating food, but if you live in uh, the United States and you have access to, you know, good, healthy, nutritious food, you really don't need to supplement all that much unless you choose to, unless you just get tired of, you know, eating regular food. Maybe you want to make a shake. Um, I think you just touched on something really powerful there. And that is that you do say it, how it is and that behind the scenes, real content is what people are craving so much on social media. So showing that picture of yourself and saying what your true beliefs are, are going to attract the right people. And I think that's something that every single industry should take into account. You know, how do you differ from the normal thought leadership in your industry. What makes you a little bit different? And saying those real polarizing things can actually be so beneficial on social media to create that engagement and to attract a really like-minded following. Um, so I think that statement was just pure gold right there. <laughs> mm, thank you. Um, the, the third concept, that third bucket or the third category is uh, to recharge. And when we say recharge, we say sleep and manage your stress. And one of the things, this is going to sound weird coming from a strength and conditioning coach, but your environment is really, really important. If you have clutter everywhere, I mean, this might just be my own personal opinion, but you know, I could, I could get you a stack of research that will back me up here. <laughs> but I just feel, I feel more um, at ease when I um, don't have a lot of clutter. I will, I don't, I, I can't see myself here, so. I'll, I'll share a little insight into my world. I, I still use a pen and a good old 99 cent composition notebook. I kind of start my day with a little bit of gratitude. I have my three by 11 a.m. Um, you know, one of the things that I did already today is I coached early in the morning. I still actually uh, see living, breathing human beings. I love coaching. I love uh, interacting with our client athletes. And um, guess what my number two was here, Megan? Repurpose daily email lesson in meet Edgar. There we go. You got to like write that? it down. Plan for that and make sure that you're getting it done. That's so important to get it into Edgar and make sure that um, you're taking the time to do it in a space that it works and that the social media doesn't become something you just do in your free time, but it's an mm. intentional thing. And that's what builds the networks that are actually growing and lasting. So that's so good to hear. And even, you know, just decluttering, like even if it's just this for me helps to keep me organized. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just even keeping the desk clean and just the work environment clean, I, I can get my entire social media responsibilities. I'm getting them done. I do a, th a three hour sprint on a Monday, every Monday um, from about 9 a.m. to about noon. I say I try to be done by 11, but it usually takes me um, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, about, about 12 noon. I'm getting all my my social done, meaning I'm writing all my emails. Um, I work about a month ahead because I come from that magazine world when I was in my 20s. So I'm like, I'm really, I don't go three months out like magazines, you know, traditional publication, magazine publication is like they run a three month lead time. I go about a month out and um, I just have after, gosh, 24, 25 years of coaching, I just have libraries and libraries of content from you know video writ the written word so much so i'm just kind of picking and choosing ever this evergreen content pushing it out you know a month ahead and i'm doing that on a monday i love that so much making sure that you're, you're planning far enough it out but still leaving margin and room to shift depending upon what you're learning the trends that are going on and stuff like that so that's so important kind of getting that great balance part of um training is training is where you stimulate the body the body actually changes and proves it gets stronger it, it gets um more endurance it, all these good things happen when you're actually uh sleeping deeply in the mm -hmm. deepest most growth hormone rich stages of sleep the rapid eye movement sleep that's when um, testosterone insulin like growth factor not to nerd out on you too much here but that's when your body your cells actually recover so part of that is you have to have time, scheduled time to do nothing and mm -hmm. just kind of chill out. Um, the beach is one of my favorite places to go and, and relax with my family. But 
we're actually talking about and writing content and uploading that up into to meet Edgar talking about how important it is to have like structured relaxation days. Um, another category that I, I, I mean, we can look at my account in a minute, but that I have, and by the way, I think my whole meet Edgar account only has like a thousand or 1400 posts, but they're content rich posts. So I feel like for the folks out there watching, especially if you're a fitness and nutrition coach, you know, you don't need like 10,000 pieces of content. Um, and, and we've been using you guys for, for, uh, as an amazing tool for a couple of years now, you know, we can. 1500 pieces. I don't know. Is that like the average? How many pieces of content do people have? It totally depends upon how evergreen your content is, like you said, but I think you hit the nail on the head. If you are someone who wants to be known for something, you have to repeat the same message. It could be in multiple ways, but that's what's really going to make sure that you're attracting the right people, right? Is if you're repeating that message, you're becoming known as the expert in that one area and niching down. Mm -hmm. So like you said, it doesn't need to be a ton of fresh content all the time, as long as you're taking the time to really create quality content and share it out. And we're always a attracting new people. So that content, like you said, being able to reshare it to your new people who don't know you or those people who didn't have time to uh, see it the first time or even further, you never know when the right message is going to hit someone at the right time for them to actually hear it and for them to actually engage with it. Um, so oftentimes, some of the strongest marketers who use a social media tool like me, Edgar, do just that. They create really quality content and reuse it rather than spending their time of trying new things all the time. Take what works and build on that. Right. And that was, uh, I agree, 100 percent. The the stuff is really a lot of the, the stuff is evergreen. So mm -hmm. when we say focus on the fundamentals and master the basics and these little cliches, yeah. it's true. I mean, why am, why are we going to, you know, try to try to come up with something new when, you know, this concept of, you know, having a really positive mindset and having either a good or a great day and having this, this thankfulness. I mean, as I start every day with, you know, my, my little gratitude, a sentence or two about what I'm thankful for, but it's true. We, we really, you know, we try to lead by example and we try to live that. And, you know, this is this is our community. Uh, these are regular folks that are trying to get better. Um, our community is 40 plus males and females. Um, I, I'm in that category now. And, um, you know, when people say, well, what what do you actually do? I have coaches. So I have coaches that help me be good at what I do. And they're like, Joe, if you guys don't believe in what you do more than anybody else, uh, then you need to stop coaching. So for me, one of the foundations is, is we'll coach you and we'll agree on a priority one goal, right? Because you can only have one goal. Uh, everyone has like 18 goals. We'll just focus on one thing. And if we can't help you get that priority one goal, we'll give your tuition back. I we'll fund love your tuition. That. That's so the thing cool. is, like, I believe in the fact that we can do it and I want you to believe in the fact that we can do it. So let's agree on what we're going to do together. And if I can't get you there, then I don't deserve to have your tuition. We'll give it back. And when people say, well, what is it you do? Well, this is the kind of stuff that we do. Um, you know, we take a guy that's 300 pounds and we get him to, you know, 200 pounds. And we do it in a time frame that's realistic. If you look at this, you say, oh, my goodness gracious, look at this gentleman. This is a guy with a family, with responsibilities, with all these people counting on him. And we're helping him get to excellent. We're helping him get to the leanest, strongest, most athletic version of himself. And by the way, if we're helping somebody lose 100 pounds in, 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 uh, in a year or six months, you know, we're, we're trying to do it in a way that's sustainable, right? And um, not with some quick fix, you know, let's do this in a week or two. This is simple training, nutrition, sleep, stress management, coaching, accountability, and, and this is how we do it. That's so great. I think, again, you hit on something that's so important. It's knowing your community, niching down to that 
one person that you're talking to and that one person that you know you can sell to is so important. And that is going to do such a strong way of making sure when you're speaking and writing your status updates, you're doing it in a tone that's going to resonate with them. And another thing that I really love that you do here is you thought about the objections people would have to your program. You thought, you know what, they might not have seen results in the past with a diet or a workout plan that they did. So what is it that might be stopping someone from signing up? It's that they're going to lose money. So what do you do? You handle that objection ahead of time and you can say on social media, you know, we have a money back guarantee. We are going to go ahead and put our belief in you and put our belief in our program. And I think that goes a long way in selling in a really genuine way on social media. So whenever you're thinking about selling, handling it first with objection based selling mind frames like that can be so, so powerful. So those are really good ideas. I have um, just a, a couple, you know, so, sometimes like here, here's a, here's a post. Sometimes we're just saying thank you to everybody. Like, you know what? Love thank it. you for reading our, our, my email lesson, because you don't have to. There's a mm -hmm. bunch of other stuff you could be reading or thank you for being a part of our community or thank you for just, you know, reading this Facebook post. Right. And, you know, for me, I never forget that without the audience, I mean, what do you have? Uh, I mean, I do write a lot of this stuff for myself just because I kind of need to do it. Um, it's a reminder for me, but it's also reinforces my um, core values. And I feel like you need to, you know, you always need to bring stuff from the back of the mind to the front of the mind. Um, totally. It might be on a daily basis. It's kind of why, you know, I'm say, saying what I'm thankful for uh, on a daily basis in my, my little journal. But there's uh, two big concepts I want to just close on. And one of them is you got to invest in your health. People think that, you know, you're like, you're going to just save up all this money and then, you know, you're going to like check into the nursing home early. Mm. But that's, you know, you, you, you want to create generational health. Like my hope is that your children and your children's children, your children's children, children, like are going to benefit from you leading by example. That's my hope. I mean, mm. that, that's what I, what gets me out of bed in the morning. And that's really my driver. Um, second to the fact that, you know, two thirds of the United States is either overweight or obese. And it's the biggest challenge, uh, you know, really with the health care and um, health budget and just disease and, and really the future health of the nation um, is really addressing this obesity problem. So I feel like we can start with education and systems that are proven to work. But I feel like when it comes to disseminating this information and social media, honestly, you got to just give out your best stuff for free. You've got to give out your best stuff for free. So I wrote a book, shameless plug here. You can get it at arangiobook.com. But this is like, when I tell you the whole system's there, we say, here's how you train and here's how you eat and here's how you recover. And here are the, the built-in coaching things you can do. And, you know, you need to take your body fat and body weight every single Monday. That's called Measurement Monday. And you need to batch prep your meals on Sundays and Wednesdays. And, like, we just give it away. And there's going to be a percentage of people that say, I, I want you to help me. I believe it's valuable what you're doing. I want you to help me because I still can't do this on my own, even though you just gave me the whole system. And, um, you know, really, that's 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 just my hope. My hope is that the folks out there, especially the um, the coaches, the, the nutrition and the fitness coaches or the future uh, nutrition and fitness coaches, man, we need an army of you guys. We need an army of men and women that can help all the people that are in need. And um, I, I feel like if you're getting hamstrung by manually scheduling all your social media posts and getting overwhelmed. And like, that's the thing that's keeping you from helping somebody get me Edgar. It'll help you right away. So, um, you know, th thank you. Thank you for everything. And, um, I, I want to share, I think this is my last one. If you guys can take a close look at this. So we were, 
we were asked to be uh, to do an interview for a local magazine in our in our area, Pennsylvania. And then they said, hey, can we bring a photographer in? Can we take a, a photo of you? Can we put you on the cover? And they asked me about cover lines. So look at those cover lines. By the way, any magazine that's in the fitness world, you're going to see these really fabulous cover lines because they're trying to sell that uh, that magazine. They're trying to get it off the shelf and, and into your hands. So right. if you look at those cover lines, leaner, stronger, younger, the new fountain of youth. The reality is everything that I just talked about, all my posts, you know, if I would, if I would put a little cover line there and it said calories count or win your mornings or, you know, do more work or do the work or take action, that wouldn't sell the magazine very well. Mm -hmm. So my thing is sometimes you have to use these like, you know, sexy marketing words you know, in your posts in order to get someone to read your good content. And, um, you know, you almost wish you didn't have to do it, but you do, you do. Yeah. And sometimes you need those sexy cover lines. Yeah. I think again, making sure you're giving away your best stuff for free, like you said, can sometimes seem a little bit scary to people, but that's how you build the trust. And that's how you get over the fact that you're not being salesy. You're being someone who is offering value over and over again. And the more people see that, the minute that they are ready to finally commit to their health, you are going to be top of mind because you've done the work to prove your trustworthiness. Um, and like you said, sometimes we do have to go to these marketing techniques of stopping your scroll, getting someone to look at that actual word and doing that is actually going to serve your community because you have a program that works. It's almost your responsibility to get out there and get it in front of the people who actually need it. Um, so I think those are two really important points that you just touched on there as well. Uh, if it's helpful, I'll quickly um, show you in my, uh, my Meet Edgar account and I'll show you kind of where rubber meets road. So awesome. we've got our... Um, uh, our, our private Facebook community. And if you just search, you know, Arangio or Arangio Athletic Fitness on Facebook, you can come on and join us. But we're basically, as I said, on a Monday, I'm planning out content for um, the month ahead of time. And I'm also looking at what's going to go in uh, even that day or that week. But really, we're planning, you know, 30 days ahead. Oh my gosh, that was such a wealth of information about your social media strategy and creating really compelling content. And I would love to switch gears a little bit now and pop into your Edgar account and look at your strategy for how you take this content and make sure it's in the account to be automated and systemized and reach the people that it's meant for. Um, so if you want to go ahead and share your strategy with us, I know we are dying to hear it. Sure, no problem. This is our uh, little community. And uh, this is my admin account. We got, looks like almost 14,000 folks in there. And if you see kind of like, cause I'll, I'll show you the end user, like, so where, here's where it's coming out. Um, you know, little, sometimes we'll just do something as small as, you know, a little emoji star, wait for nothing. And then our little hashtag and our name. Um, other times we're creating something a little bit more fancy with, uh, I was alluding to my, my, my book that I wrote, the, my new book, The New Fountain of Youth. So we're doing little things like um, this would just be sort of a little promotional thing because it's relatively new. Um, here's another one, you know, grab your free copy. This is what the anti-aging zealots don't want you to know. By the way, every single one of these posts, um, six rules of happy, successful people, you can see that there, um, some of them are shorter. Some of them are quite significant. Uh, I'm opening this guy. This is an example. Rule number two, be early. Rule number three, pay attention. So here's an example of an actual email that I wrote that was repurposed. And I'm sure you know, you know better than me, Megan. Maybe these really long posts don't do well. I don't really care. A lot of, like I said, a lot of this stuff, I just write it for myself. I want to share um, things that I think are important. And even if it's not optimized, I really don't care. Um, but my content strategy is I wrote this as an email. I've mailed this out using a service to thousands of folks on our list. And then it's just like, well, why should that content just kind of die after it's been you know, mailed out? Let's do something cool with it. Let's repost it. And you can, um, 
see if I go to my actual um, Meet Edgar. Um, here's a little message from you, Megan. If mm -hmm. I go to my little Meet Edgar account, um, I've got my little buckets here. So this is the Arangio group. And there are 62 bits of um, content in there. Some of them are really long and some of them are really succinct. Some of them have images and, and some don't have images. Why don't we, let me go in here. Is this where I go? Um, be in the no, library. I go to yeah. library. Okay. Um, all right. So I go, I'm going to go to the library here. Hopefully our internet connection is going to be fast enough. <laughs> and um, once we go to Arangio group, this is really, uh, you know, it's about, it's really about keeping in shape for life. Think about your body like a car. Once you park a car, it might not start again, but you just keep driving it, so on and so forth. If I show you the imagery that we're using, and once again, I'm not a social media expert by any sense, but we try to use imagery. Let me see if, um, okay, there we go. We try to use imagery that puts our logo in there and um, is thoughtful, right? There's a car image. There's an image of a, a female client athlete with the bar on her back. Some of these are stock images, um, our little hashtag. You know, so like the post is talking about your body's like a car and we allude to, you know, an engine. So there's a little, you know, uh, RPM meter there. It's just kind of how we're we're doing things. Um, there's another category while I'm at it that I'll share with you. So we were fortunate enough to um, uh, we were uh, we do it. We have a, a healthy home renovation television show, and it's called Home Body Challenge. We shot uh, the pilot, and then we just shot another episode. But um, this. Home Body Challenge TV show, this healthy home uh, renovation TV show where we help a family who's kind of struggling, we help them get healthy. Um, we actually use Meet Edgar to push content out to that Facebook page and those social media properties. So that's kind of cool. I mean, just because we're health and fitness and fitness and nutrition coaches, it's not like, like we're running a couple of businesses with our Meet Edgar account. Um, for the same investment every month, by the way, which is amazing. So I, I don't know what the rules are with you guys, but it's it's just the value that you guys are delivering is absolutely amazing. And um, I don't know, I just got to say thanks, and I'm really thankful for you guys that you that you exist. So thanks, Megan. Oh, that's so great to hear. And yeah, you can use Edgar for as many brands as you want, as long as you stay within that 25 account limit. So it's fantastic to hear that this is helping to save you time in all of your social media efforts. And I love to see that you're using social media to connect with people in an intimate space, like repurposing that email that you showed us. I think that's a great strategy because so many people don't open their email these days. You know, they're just inundated with so much of it, but they might see that post on social media. And again, the more you can drill your message home, even if it's a very similar message, the more people are gonna think of you as an expert in your industry. Um, so I think your strategy is really going to help all these health coaches who are just getting started on social media out so much. Um, and I appreciate you sharing it with us today. Hey, it's been my pleasure. Thank you so much, everybody watching and listening. If you want to get a copy of the new Fountain of Youth, just go to arangiobook.com. That's arangiobook.com. Megan, thanks for having me. Yeah, anytime. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. You too.